We interrupt our programming. This is a national emergency. This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system. Letting you know of the commencement of the annual period. Sanctioned by Alpha One Wrestling and General Manager Josh Alexander. Weapons of Class 4 and North have been authorized for use and completely illegal during the period. All other weapons are restricted. Alpha 1 officials have been granted immunity from the curve and shall in no way be harmed. At the sound of the sound, any and all crimes, including that of manslaughter, will be legal from the hours of 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. on July 30th in Hamilton, Ontario. Police, fire, and emergency services will be of no help and will be unavailable until after 7 p.m. when the purge is concluded. Blessed be our Helpful one, family, and may God take mercy on your soul. My name is Tyler Coles, your Minister of Violence. On July 30th, between the hours of 4 p.m. and 7 p.m., in Hamilton, Ontario, 222 Queenston Road, we have issued an extreme emergency alert because Alpha One Wrestling will be presenting the second annual purge sanctioned by General Manager Josh Alexander. What does this entitle? No rules, no law, everything, and I mean everything is legal. So there is no holds bar to what will happen. And remember people, this will be aggressive in nature. So for anyone that is squeamish or weak stomach or does not like the sight of blood, you all have been warned because this is exactly what will be happening then. Also, we have mentioned that Class 4 weaponry has been legalized. What is a Class 4 weapon, you may ask? Chairs, ladders, tables, chains, tacks, kendo sticks, staple guns, trash cans, and toy lightsabers are some examples. Also, all emergency services has been suspended during the purge, so there will be no fire, police, or medical services available until after 7 p.m. But to get down to business, the card. And what a card Alpha One has produced for all you people. We have four title matches taking place this day. We got the Zero Gravity Championship, where you have newly crowned Zero Gravity Champion, the Primate from Space, Space Monkey, taking on that good for nothing pill pusher, Gregory Iron. Not really too interested in this match because it does not contain the godfather of Alpha One Wrestling, one of the best zero gravity champions ever in Alpha One history, Alessandro Del Bruno. More about him later. But for people interested in this car fight, I suggest you go for the monkey because drugs are never the answer, people. Say no. Plain and simple. Also, all the way 
from Chicago, Illinois, we have the Freelance title. It will be defended by some jabroni named Stevie Fierce, and the people going after it are Matt Nix, Dominic Grady, with the man himself, Stokely Hathaway, and some overblown loser, the Lone Star Kurt Stallion. This title will be defended in a four-way elimination match. We will all see what Chicago has to offer, but let's just hope and pray that Dominic Garrardi brings yet another title back to Alpha One Wrestling. We also have the Alpha Male Championship, where current champion, the Diamond Tiger, Kobe Durst, takes on the leader of the Ricky Army. He is also a previous CZW Tournament of Death Champion, Ricky Shane Page. Which, for everyone in attendance, this will be a complete brutal match. Because these both these men know how to use weapons. We also have your Alpha One Tag Team Championship match, which stems back to do or do not, there is no try, when your current champions, Two Star, which is All Ego Ethan Page, and the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, defending their titles against former champions, The Virus, which entails General Manager, The Walking Weapon, Josh Alexander, and the new guy, GQ, Gavin Quinn. If it's anything like the last match, it will sure be a spectacular match, especially now that we have weaponry involved. But that's not all that's happening at The Purge 2. We also have a singles match where we have ACH taking on that wannabe Ben Affleck, Alex Daniels. All I have to say about that is, go, go, ACH. We also have a King of Hearts qualifying match, where we have former Alpha One Outer Limits champion, the man with... Superb style. Maxwell Jacob Freeman taking on that wannabe wrestling Jesus. Crit Shane Saber. Who, the only thing Shane Saber has been good at is attacking his opponents from behind. Let's all hope and pray that MJF overcomes the odds and beats Shane Saber because he is better than you and you know it. We also have a sudden death six way scramble. Encoming some familiar Alpha One faces, which includes Easy E. The Gryffindorf reject himself, Josh Rogan. The return of the Bone Crusher, Steve Brown, which makes this next guy I'm about to announce a complete another joke. Dr. Daniel C. Rockingham. Yes, the man with the doctorate of losing, the masterate of being a failure. And overall complete joke in the ring. This guy has only one win in Alpha One Wrestling. And it came in a six-man tag. Thanks in part to Dominic Guerrero picking up the windfall. 
we believe Dr. Dan will not survive this match in one piece, so we have notified his next of kin and made the proper arrangements. Because there is no way in hell he's going to win it. Because he is completely pathetic and a complete and utter loser. Sorry, Austin, but I believe after this event, you will have to go look for another wrestler to cheer for because this may be the end of Dr. Dan, especially once the Bone Crusher gets his hands on him. But, sorry for getting off topic, the other two combatants in the match is Mark Wheeler, who also is somewhat of a loser, because he just registered his first win in Alpha 1 at the previous event. And then, we got this man named Rob Matters, but he does not matter at all, because Frankly, he is just a two-cent ripoff of Gilberg. Enough said about him, because talking about him is like talking about a plastic bag. There's not much to talk about. And then, finally, we will have the lovely Miss Chung tell us what will be happening with our boy, the godfather of Alpha One, the longest reigning Zero Gravity Champion, Alessandro Del Bruno, and if he will be coming back to Alpha One Wrestling, and if so, what will his plans be? Will he take revenge on that stupid monkey? Or will he go after a bigger prize? It's your chance to find out on Sunday. And for people wanting to attend, general mission tickets are still for sale at the door for $20. Good luck trying to find a gold ticket because they sold out way in advance before this month even got started. Also, talking, mentioning that Cody Rhodes, the newly crowned Ring of Honor champion, will be there, and at three o'clock, he will be doing a special meet and greet for people there. As well, there will be a limited number of two-star shirts, t-shirts, so hope you can pick one up. That is what's going to happen on July 30th. Remember people, this will be a violent, bloody card, so there will be violence, there will be cursing, there will be blood, because during the purge, everything is legal. This is Tyler. Stay tuned for more videos on my channel. As well, check out my fellow Del Bruno Mafia members, Brian and Cindy, for their opinions of what will be happening at the purge. Their information will be seen at the end of this video. As for now, good night, and may God bless the souls of the Alpha One family. Yeah.